international event here in Charleston where we commemorated the first shot on Fort Sumter. And I was actually on the gun crew over on James Island and we fired an original 10 inch mortar uh, as they did that day. They wouldn't let us do it 4.30 in the morning, but that's okay. Uh, we did it about 6.45. So I do artillery, that's how you tell what branch of the service you're in, is by the color trim on our uniform. I've got red trim, that's artillery. Uh, you can see the cross cannon on my hat. Uh, blue would be infantry, gold would be cavalry, black could be many, medical or clergy, and then like a buff color or khaki color would be officer staff. But it's interesting, and I was telling these guys I was talking to earlier, that this is early war. Now if we're looking at 150 years ago, South Carolina seceded. The first major battle is going to take place on July 21st in a little town called Manassas Junction in Virginia. That battle, there was mass confusion. There was actually a federal artillery battery dressed in navy blue on a hill and they saw some men coming up in navy blue uniforms and thought they were their fellow soldiers in the Union Army and they were actually Confederates. They overran the battery and took the battery. And there was actually a unit from, uh, from New York dressed in gray. So they had to say, wait a minute, <laughs> we got to figure out who's going to wear what color, and that's when it became more standardized. The Confederates wore the gray, the Union wore the blue. Uh, so now that I do artillery, there were different types of artillery. Uh, you had seacoast artillery, and if you've ever been to our battery, you've seen those big Columbiads on down there that, that fired, you know, 11-inch uh, and 15-inch rounds. Uh, those were the heavy artillery. Now, you had siege guns that were a little bit smaller, that could be moved around a little bit easier. You had 24 pounders, 32 pounders, 42 pounders. Um, you had mortars, like 10 inch mortars, 13 inch mortars, like you see on the battery. Those are more like siege. And then you had light artillery, which is what this class of cannon would have fallen into. So this gun would have been easy to move. It would have been moved by horses. Now, this is not a full scale. We call this a three quarter scale, 10 pound parrot. And you can tell us a parrot by the way that the breech is reinforced. This made this gun have a longer distance. Now, there's one thing about artillery that made a major change. If you want to come up with a I want to stand back to this side. So I'll tell you uh, the difference in artillery. A lot of the artillery